earlier today, you tweeted about inflation as it relates to the price of a Big Mac. And as a junk food enthusiast, that hits home for me more than the price of broccoli and barley. And I think that for a lot of people, that that really does put things in perspective. As you are out on the campaign trail around District 5 and in the state of Tennessee, is that one of those issues that is towards the top or maybe even the top of the list of issues that people are concerned about? Well, of course, and this administration has lied about inflation inflation repeatedly, right? We were told from the Biden administration last year that inflation was transitory, um, that it was going it wasn't going to last long. It was going to have minimal effect. Uh, and we have been given the runaround on the supply chain issues as well, which, by the way, are only getting worse because, as you have played in your headlines and in your coverage on Just the News, uh, we all know that there are lockdowns in Shanghai and around the rest of the country. Uh, there's no way that they can have these massive lockdowns lockdowns in China and for it not to affect uh, the supply chain, which is why President Trump always talked about needing to produce here at home. So absolutely, it's the the price of, uh, of, of everything, especially gasoline, especially groceries. I mean, that's what I hear around the district, especially moms like me. I have a I have a young one at home. She's 17 and a half months. And, you know, th- the fact that some people around the country and, and this number is growing are having to make decisions about food filling their gas tank full or filling their grocery cart full. We should not have to make those trade-offs in America. But those are the types of trade-off decisions that families around this country are having to make in Joe Biden's America.